Hello and welcome to my Luminar Neo Upscale AI beta review, sneak peek, whatever you like to call it. So basically, this photograph here, what I'm going to do is edit this fella. Now the first question you might ask yourself is, how do you use it? You Basically what you do is, you get your photograph you want to upscale, so if I just have it here and just click on it and hold it down, and just pop it over here to upscale AI. Once you pop it in there, it's going to ask you then, do you want to do a 2 by upscale, a 4 by upscale, or a 6 by upscale? So let's say for starters, we're going to click on a 2 by upscale. Now the system specs are above here on top. The image is 2498 by 1665. It's a 1 megabyte file. So um, it's a very low resolution image. So if I want to really upscale that image, I'd probably go to 4 by upscale. But let's say we'll stick to 2 by just for now. So if I click on 2 and click on upscale, what's going to happen then? Give it a couple of seconds. You see the little wheel turning around the place there. And boom, there we have it. There's our upscaled photograph. So if I double click on that, and if I zoom in a bit, you can see that the hair on the horse and everything is a lot sharper. The horse's mane is really sharp. It's bringing out all this lovely detail. That's after upscaling our image, something savage altogether. Now, the resolution at the moment is 4,996 by 3,330. So that's over a 15 megapixel photograph. So all along before, with the original image, I would have been struggling to print that in anything above A4 size. So now you could print that in A2 quite comfortably. Um, now, so let's go and let's have a look at what else we can do. So if I go back to catalog, and sorry, the other thing I should mention is, as soon as you click on upscale, as soon as you click on the upscaling, it's going to open out a separate folder here called upscale. And in that folder is our image then itself. If I go back to the one I've called Neo Edits here now, so that's our original image again, 2498 by 1665. Drag and drop it over here to upscale AI again. And if I click on 4x and click on upscale, that then is going to upscale that image again and then pop it into the upscale folder. So I'll give it a couple of seconds and there we go. So this is our original image, or not our original, this is our 2 by upscale, which is at 4,996 by 3,330. This is our new one, which is 9,992 by a crazy 6,660. So that is, that. that's, I work out the maths in my head, that's like, that's, that's nearly 60 megapixel photograph. So I mean, you know, that that is going to give you fantastic printing abilities. So if I just double click on that there now, and if I zoom in a bit, um, you can see there now, even zoomed in a good bit there now, I'm at 49%. That, that looks really good. That looks really good. There's some lovely detail in the grass there too as well, and then the horse looks really good. And if I grab the photograph and pop it over to upscale AI again, and click on 6 by and click on upscale. And that's basically all you have to do. Just select your resolution, click on upscale, and bang, there you go. So that is upscaling, 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 and it should be there now fairly soon. The reason why it's taking so long is because look at the resolution. It's 14,988 pixels by 9,990 pixels. That is absolutely ridiculous. Now, when you consider the size of this photograph originally, that's nuts. You know, that is, that is nuts. That really is nuts. So I zoomed in quite a bit there now again. You can actually see that that is... That is after pulling out some lovely detail there now again. So it's, and again, in the grass too as well and whatnot. Like the horse's nose, that is actually quite smooth there too as well. So that is, and the hair and whatnot. If you look at that there, if I go back to the original image, sorry, I don't know, a second. If I just pop back to the original image, um, which is this filly here now, that zoomed in on the original image there now, you can see the horse's hair is not that sharp. Any of that isn't that sharp. The horse itself is a bit blurred, the ears and everything else, the hair up along there is, isn't great either, being honest you. Whereas if I go back to upscale and if I click on the latter one, and if I zoom in on that, give it a couple of seconds, it is zooming in and boom, there we have it. Look at that detail. Look at the detail there. That is absolutely fantastic. So here I have a direct side-by-side -side comparison. You see the original above and top and the 6 by upscale image underneath. It's six times the resolution and it's sharper. And you'll also notice there are a few slight artifacts in the image there. Those artifacts are actually in the original too as well. So if I go back to the original, do, 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 and open that out long and zoom in on that, you will actually see there is a bit of haloing there too as well, and a bit of digital noise and whatnot on that. So it's, it's on the original, that's why it's in the enlarged photographs. So yeah, that's basically it. I'm going to be posting up a far more detailed review of this once the finalised version has been given to me. Until then, uh, take care and see you out there.